what's a normal amount of, of uh, you know, caring, uh, loving male support for his lady after, say, one month? Mm, maybe up to five hundred dollars. That's uh, that's enough for the first months, and then you can raise up to I don't know two or three thousand dollars. But that's probably uh, enough for average and stable living. Ooh, Maria, you're gonna get roasted in the comment section here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Ukrainian women and money. It's a huge question, and I see you guys fucking up a lot of relationships with ladies because you're too much of a tightwad okay um but i know you know a lot of you guys are paranoid about gold diggers and about being taken advantage of but guys in this video we're going to ask coach maria what uh, what's reasonable what's normal and what's expected of you of us guys to support her because that's a huge um role of the man here in this traditional values culture. Uh, would you say a lot of men make this mistake and uh, screw up relationships? Yes, because it, anyway uh, it affects uh, our pride and it's it, sometimes it can be said in the wrong way and you can get uh, refused instead of agreement and she will be blowing up and said well and this relationship will stop for sure. Okay, so we just did a, a video on gold diggers in Ukraine. It's in the description below this. You want to check that out. Maria has a friend who's a gold digger that, what, made 200000 in the last uh, two years uh, in her professional gold digging career. So you definitely want to check that out if you want to know the five red flags of gold diggers in the description below this video. But now, Maria, what we want to talk about is I'd like you to impart upon guys what is a normal, like, good girl expectation of money? Um... You know, the guy gets into a relationship with her. They've been seeing each other for, let's say, one week, one mm -hmm. month, two months. Mm -hmm. What is her expectation in the financial support and what's healthy, you know, uh, that's going to keep her happy, that's normal, mm -hmm. and it's not going to make the guy suspicious? Well, mm -hmm. no, forget about the guy. Let's just talk about the girl. <laughs> what does she want and what's normal? Well, of course, we are waiting for for support, for money support, because it's kind of hard to earn money, good money, when you are employed, and for women too, especially if she has kids, and um, she will not ask for money. That's for sure. But uh, on on like second months of your communication, you may offer your help and ask, what would you like uh, from me to do for you? I mean how can i help you or how much money would satisfy you or give you safety and uh, some emotional st st stability you know so what you're saying uh, if i understand you right is the guy should ask her mm -hmm. uh, can i help you and how much mm -hmm. yeah so Skorka, how much should he you know guys ask us this what's a normal amount of of uh, you know caring uh, loving male support for his lady after say one month Mm, maybe up to five hundred dollars. That's uh, that's enough for the first months, and then you can raise up to I don't know two or three thousand dollars. But that's probably uh, enough for average and stable living. Ooh, Maria, you're gonna get roasted in the comment section here uh, <laughs> for saying those numbers. Um, so let me see if I understand you right. Mm -hmm. um, guy comes here, um, meets a girl uh, from our agency yes. and uh, has let's say two or three dates maybe four dates then he goes back home mm -hmm. and it's one month later mm -hmm. but they're communicating fairly regularly so he should offer five hundred dollars a month at this point month one um, well you can offer I would like to give you some present or I would like to send you some money will be um, I can give you five hundred dollars is it okay and you can see her reaction on this per month uh, well, yes, uh -huh. not like per month instantly and for the whole rest of life, no. But for the uh, for the first period, yes, that's that will be enough. What do you mean the first period? Uh, first, maybe first mm, couple months, not not like a year. Let me give you a s uh, normal scenario. Okay. Guy comes here, he meets girl, um, he dates her two, three, four times, goes mm -hmm. back home, uh, and then he doesn't come back for six months or four months so he should pay her five hundred dollars five hundred five hundred every month till he comes back um no 
I mean, anyway, it's you have to discuss it with your lady because, of, of course, if she lives in a small town, this amount of money will be enough for her to cover some basic needs and uh, to make her life much comfortable. But if she lives like in big city, of course, this five hundred dollars it's not enough for her. That's for sure, and uh, she will be so skeptical about this sum, this amount. Um, so it depends on what uh, class of a girl you are pretending to and how, how she's living in city or city or town or village because it's different uh, types of life. Okay, let's talk about uh, financial support and uh, physical intimacy. Mm -hmm. Do you think a man should support his lady after, say, two, three dates, but they didn't have really any intimacy maybe they had one maybe they had a kiss or something mm -hmm. but no more intimacy mm -hmm. and he goes back home should he support her then month two no. three no of course not because uh, she will think that um, you have the same attitude to every girl who you kissed or you had a couple of dates so you need to to feel that she's uh, kind of open to dialogue and she's uh, she's talking only to you because you you need to be sure that she she is the only one for you and you are the only one for her so you're talking about this uh, monthly support only after you as a man know this is your lady and you yes, feel you yes, feel that she's course. committed to you okay. and you guys see a future together mm -hmm. and you've had intimacy you've had sex already like this well, it's not about sex because it depends on the lady, but you would not invest in business in which you are not sure and maybe you are interested in this uh, kind of business, maybe you're not. It's like a startup. You, you need to know where you are investing your money. The relationship is like a business startup. Well, of course, when it's, it comes about money, there is no love, but it's more like a business. I mean, you are investing and you are waiting for some resources to come for you. And um, if, you, if you have no feedback and no result, why do you need to, to invest there? I mean, okay, so what do you... I, I don't understand. What, what, what's feedback and result, what that means? Uh, sh she needs to be gra uh, grateful. She needs to be um, emotionally kind of attached to you and she needs to you need to see the results of money I mean maybe she bought something that she dreamed of or maybe she afforded her to go to a vacation or something like special I mean this money should be um, y you need to know where this money will go even in her hands so of course you need to know her her personality and her lifestyle because uh, you can send this money and she can she, she will not uh, do anything good with this but how do i know she's not using me like uh, we didn't have intercourse like we didn't have sex maybe we had a kiss we had a little bit of intimacy uh and uh, now i'm paying her you know three or five hundred dollars every month and there's no end in sight we haven't applied for the k-1 visa mm -hmm. you know i'm not coming back for six months how do i know she's not using me that is what you guys are wondering am i right I would suggest to go to a vacation like, as a couple and when you are 24 hours uh, together and when you spend like seven days together it, it's not like it, does, it doesn't cost a lot for you but in this way you can see how she's uh, open to you how much time does does she needs to be open with you and you will uh, see her um, behavior don't you think a, a, a girl can just be uh, saying yes okay I'll go on I'll go to Greece with you I, for example I have a client that took her to Greece and they spent a couple of weeks in Greece um, and uh, I, I suggest to clients they don't actually take them on vacation not too early in the relationship no not too early of course not but before marrying before uh, applying for the documents and visas you should do this okay before marriage I agree so maybe we just disagree on the timing of this. So when is it okay, you know, you recommend he takes her on a, on a vacation to kind of test the waters, right? How, how, how far into the relationship? Mm -hmm. It's all personal, but uh, I think it's from, from six months till eight months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on the pr progress of the yeah, relationship. I, I agree with you. So guys, you see it continues to be a tricky subject here, uh, money and Ukrainian women, and uh, when... 
and at what level should you support your lady? Uh, any any other advice uh, on this before we close this video out? Don't put this lens on your eyes and look on all ladies through this gold digging uh, glass, because uh, most of uh, I know most of ladies then not like this and when you are trying to when you're looking through this lens you are finding the evidence that you are right and all people are like this great advice don't be paranoid that you've got a gold digger so you should know the signs of you know gold digger versus you know uh, a good girl so that you know you've got a good girl and then and then don't be paranoid about it um, yes. you're absolutely right if you you know you're gonna find in life what you're looking for right mm -hmm. Great advice, Maria. We'll be back with more videos with Coach Maria to help you guys out. See you soon.